And I did want to ask about what happens when you do get that idea. Like, first off, where did the the idea come from? And can you kind of walk me through that process of the whole process of your video from idea to upload, like the whole creative process? Right. So to answer that question, we have to, because ultimately we're, we're choosing ideas are, ideas are everywhere. We get them all the time. And they, I think everybody gets ideas all the time. And, and, and some of us have the wherewithal to actually write those into a list that where we're, we have to sit down and say, okay, which idea are we going to act on? Well, good thing we have this list. I think the interesting thing isn't necessarily the, how to come up with an idea. It's, um, when we do choose how or which idea we're going to act on. And that has a lot to do with um, uh, topicalness. What's What's been interesting to me uh, on this YouTube journey of content creating weekly or trying to go weekly is uh, at any given moment, it's, it's, we're at a very malleable state. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot to take into account. There's pop culture for, for example, um, Apple uh, a couple weeks ago just released a new iPhone 11. So it's a like, oh hey we should make um a review video soon and we know that that's on our on our menu. Well, all of a sudden we're engaging with the real world. It's like so should we make a video about the iPhone 11 or should we make if you're a successful YouTube channel, you've pro- you probably have at least a couple of series that you're known for so that people know what to expect from you. So you're constantly kind of bouncing between your series where you might make a video that's more in line with one series and the, and the other. So in this example, do we make a video that's more iPhone 11 or do we stick to the plan where we were going to make a video on, on um, with, with Jacob Kelly, because we, uh, you know, we recorded this thing last week or whatever it is. So it's this constant, um, like we have like it's like a committee between the two of us where we're we're deliberating over what's best for the channel at any given moment and then that's when we go to our list and we say okay this is the video that we should focus on next and we should shoot to try to get it out by this date in order for it to be relevant because maybe we do all this work and then um you know if we're too if we're late to to pull the trigger on it it's not going to be relevant it's not going to be searchable anymore so yeah we're constantly playing with uh with real world and pop culture in, in that sense. The, the the way our process works is once we actually land on an, on an idea that we were going to go ahead and like turn into an actual video, it usually starts with us kind of thinking about what the story is going to be, how we're going to make it so we can get people interested in. And then, and then we'll start with the script. Oh, I, well, I guess it depends per video. Sometimes, sometimes we come up with a script or like the story in the edit which those videos end up taking a lot longer because you have to basically create an entire story with the footage that you have versus um, other times where we have a script and we have like a specific shot list or we know the kind of uh, how the story is going to pan out. And then when we take it into the edit, it's a lot easier. But once we get past that like production stage, um, we usually think about how we can get whatever shots that we're going to need, how to make them the most interesting and how to make them the most fun. So we'll usually try to use Los Angeles to our advantage, go out and um, use like the scenery or just the atmosphere. Um, but other other than that, me and Jonathan, once it comes to finishing the video, we're like a tag team. We go back and forth editing on the videos. A lot of the time, because we are editing very late at night, because we treat it like a race, um, it's like, okay, I'm going to sleep for two hours. You edit this. And then I'm going to sleep do this thing and then I'm going to come in in color and then I'll take Jonathan in to come and mix. And it, it, that's what it's usually like until it's time to post. And it's funny because by the time we actually do get to post uh, the video and like we figured out the thumbnail and the title and um, got that all situated, it's uh, we're exhausted at that point. And, but we know there's like the whole process of now we have to promote this video. We have to get people to actually get and watch it. And it's like, you don't want all your work to be in vain from, uh, and like not have anybody watch your video. So half the battle is getting people to watch it. But, uh, we actually did discover this, uh, tool fairly recently called morning fame, which we started to use. And that's helped us to kind of hone in on the type of videos we should be making for our channel as well as how to get specific videos to rank. So morning fame is this uh, like this keyword 
uh, research tool. It's also uh, like an analytical tool made for YouTubers by some uh, some popular like uh, YouTube growth u- channels that are on YouTube. They got together and created this online tool that that will tell you specifically how to title and thumbnail thumbnail your videos so they rank within like search and you're able to compare your video to other people's videos that are ranking. So it'll break it down for you like on a very rudimentary level, how to structure your video and how to present and package your video so people will actually watch it. So that's something we've been experimenting with lately and have been trying to see if it actually works. Um, Hopefully, I mean, we tried it with our our newest video and um, we're going to try some other stuff out as well because there's there's like A-B testing where you try out uh, experiment between different thumbnails. So right now I would say we're at the point where we're trying a lot of experimentation and trying out new things um, in our process of creating videos to see like what works. So, um, but usually it's the uh, Jonathan and I tag teaming, trying to come up with a video and then us getting that video out in a very short amount of time, usually. And I know you're still in that frame, like you said, where you're still testing and seeing what works and what doesn't. But the Method Box videos are very unique. Like they have a very distinct style. When you watch a Method Box video, you know you're watching a Method Box video. So how did you guys kind of come to that style? Was it just through the process of creating and refining it? Or was there something that you were, another style that you were kind of slightly mimicking to develop your own? Like how did that all come to be? Yeah, so that that's the beauty of it is that, so... I, I was never into YouTube. So I think what a lot of creators end up getting um, caught up on is they, they'll see a successful channel and then they'll try to emulate that. And that there was none of that happening on our end because up until Nathan coming out here, for me, I always had my nose up to YouTube because uh, that's not where filmmakers go. As that's what I thought. And um, I was very wrong, by the way, on that. That's exactly where you go. That's exactly where you build a community and an and audience base. And um, it ultimately becomes a window into your life as an artist, you know. So um, for me, there was nobody to mimic because I, I wasn't, you know, into the YouTube world. So it was clearly just what kind of art do we want to make? And um, I think a lot of the maybe the flavor that Method Box has, uh, you know, it's it's a down the middle. It's a collaborative effort. Um, but for sure, you know, obviously my, my experience in, in, in film and, and just being older and, and, and working at this craft for, you know, 10 to 15 years now at this point has lent itself nicely to, um, um, to the kind of videos we have. Um, there's also some, you know, key personality traits that we both need to have in order for us to work. You know, I think for me, I'm very, um, I'm very like, uh, anal about like having hit have it having it be a certain quality and um being thorough with with how we treat the edit um editing is really a big part of our videos so um you know nathan described maybe since the process is so different per video one of one of the ways to make a video can be where um you just go you go and just shoot a bunch of footage and then in the edit you're kind of figuring out the story um so like having that that personality trait of okay i'm going to be super type a and thorough with this all of a sudden you're seeing all the opportunities that you have within the footage and you're crafting the best possible thing that you can um you know and then nathan's got his his um personality traits 